Okay, episode two of this podcast, the very cast, I think we're calling it. And today we have... Oh, <laughs> sorry, I thought you were going to introduce us. Oh, uh, no. Do you want full names or are you just like half I, names? Anything, I do not care. My name's Carissa and I'm a sophomore at Logan's Park High School. <laughs> I'm Atticus Ricardo, I'm not going to say what grade I'm in. Okay, and I am Peyton Mucker and... I guess, yeah, let's, let's do this. Let's try this again and hope it's not as weird as Justin was. That was the most awkward introduction I've ever had in my entire life. Yeah. yeah why'd you say you're great? <laughs> That's just usually this is my <laughs> full address. I live here. If you take a right. My social security is. I live by Walmart. I actually do. <laughs> so, I guess Puffs just ended. Yeah. Three months of my life just like peaced out right there. <laughs> yep. I mean, it's 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 a bittersweet thing. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Actually, I I kind of expected it to go worse, but I caught the ball two of the three nights. If you came to the show, you'd know what I mean. Yeah. We have someone who did go to the show. I went to the I went to the show two nights out of the three, and I thought it was very funny watching Chris miss the ball and then catching it. <laughs> You went to uh, parents' night, didn't you? Uh, I went to the end of parent night because that's when the afar alarms went off. And mm-hmm. Krista goes, hey, I think the school's on fire. <laughs> and then didn't elaborate more than that. So I drove to the school as everyone was going inside. Yes. So then I just decided I'll just go and watch the rest of it. So with the tradition of parents' night going wrong somewhere or another. Oh, my gosh. Can we just unpack parents' night? Can that be what this is? Because yeah, so it's so funny. <laughs> parents' night, we were, we, were, we, were doing our, we were doing a scene. And then all of a sudden, the fire alarm just starts going off. Not even that. Like, it was just bad all the way through. And we were like, and like, I was like, they, they didn't add a fire alarm sound to the show. There I was, totally thought they did. And, and then eventually I saw a flashing light behind me. I was like. I still thought that was the- part of the show. <laughs> so then Eli like went out on the stage. He was like, everybody, this is real. Get out. <laughs> So really, he said, "Get out!" Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. It was so funny. That's how I knew it was real because he comes out and they're in the middle of a scene, like the baby scene at the very end. Um, and he, oh, it was during like, the intercom thing where he was like, "Is this thing on?" No, because I was on stage yet. Well, like it was like right before. Yeah, that. I was waiting for my entrance. And it was Bippy's entrance. That's no, when it. Yeah, Bippy was like, Bippy's like magic exit, and then Bippy runs away, and then the fire alarms start going off, and I was like, "Whoa, this is a cool sound effect." <laughs> <laughs> Wherever oh, Bippy lights. goes, it just yeah. fire alarms go off. <laughs> yeah, I, I really, I really did just think it's an effect. And, and Eli's just like, guys, this is a real fire alarm. We have to actually leave. So then a bunch of, <laughs> so like a bunch of high schoolers dressed up like wizards <laughs> walked outside and keep, and Liam, no shoes, <laughs> bare, sure. bare chest. <laughs> And only a, and a and a swim cap. <laughs> I kept them warm. <laughs> it did. Swim caps are very warm. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. And Mr. Kinney went back inside to the school to get his socks and his shoes. And um, I just I I had no part in this conversation, but I was standing next to Liam. And um, Kinney comes up to Liam. He goes, "Hey, did you have both your socks? Because I think I dropped one." <laughs> like, wow. But uh, it carries on the tradition of fire alarms going off during things because this happened in... Into the woods. L- into the wood, Little Mermaid, which Little Mermaid wasn't an entire thing because the fire trucks actually had to show up because I think something actually was happening. And it was during Under the Sea. So we were all on stage for Under the Sea and all of a sudden the fire alarm just starts going off. So the... And then the fire trucks have to pull up to a bunch of little kids... <laughs> wearing fish costumes <laughs> and they were just staring and we were just like yep i had my wand out and um somebody looked at me and they were like can you make the fire go away because um you have a wand you're harry potter so can you stop it and then another person stepped on me and was like was like oh no i stepped on harry potter wasn't was, that ava's dad <laughs> yeah yes <laughs> Oh, it was so funny. And then and then Phoenix's mom was like, it's okay. He's the boy who lived. I'm sure he'll live again. <laughs> so how was it from an audience pers- 
perspective? Well, I only got there when everyone went in, and I just saw the most chaotic <laughs> thing happening on the stage because it was the battle scene. So mm-hmm. I come in, and there's smoke, and then everyone's just running everywhere. And I'm like, I've been here for 10 minutes, and this is the most chaotic thing I've ever seen. I, th- I think it was because of Voldy's entrance <laughs> because when for some reason they put so much fog on for that scene specifically. So when Voldy came out, when we were all like, the Dark Lord... <laughs> Like, I was up there where we had to, like, hug and stuff, and it was just fog. I could barely see Liam, and he was just like, and then a while later, fire alarm goes off, but I don't know if they ever figured out why or not. I think that Mr. Kenny knows, but I just don't think we talked about it anymore. We're like, woo, opening night! (laughs) Also, the fog, like, when you're talking about the fog, there's one point where Krista comes up, and she does her little spin with the tiara. She was up there, and I could not see anything because of the fog. Mm-hmm. I was like, I was "Do like, you know where, where'd she go?" All I could see was the little like gold <laughs> gems <laughs> shining. Was it like that, like during the actual show? No, it was only like that during Parent Night. But I think they fixed it after that. Yeah, Parents Night, they had the fog machines like turned all the way up for no reason. Yeah, yeah. I like that they turned. It's because it Justin was doing it. We all know about Justin Snake, who's in the last episode. Thanks a lot, Justin. <laughs> I hope you're listening to this. <laughs> um, no, can I? Okay, I don't. What was your favorite part of the show, though, like, in total, out of all of it? My favorite is the, the Goblet of Fire scene where Eli Ball, he goes, Harry, did you put your name in the little cup of it? It was so hard not <laughs> to laugh at that because, like, I'm supposed to be, like, a serious person and, like, I don't <laughs> smile, but I just have to, like, see Eli just, like, say, Harry, did you, did, did you put your name in this little cup? No, literally, just imagine, just imagine Eli is staring daggers, like he's staring into your soul, and you have to not laugh, and then for the longest time leading up to that, Seisha would just let out like a, and then me and Eli would just start cracking yeah. up, it was so bad. Um, also, my other favorite scene is when you, um, where the snake comes out, and you're like, no, Justin, don't, don't, no, wait, no, Justin, no, no snake, don't hurt Justin, or something yeah. like that, and then, um, and you always laugh. And when I was in the audience for the first show night, she stares directly at me, and I'm laughing. And then she starts laughing before she has to go, ah, ah. And that was so funny because I knew the reason she cracked up was because of me. What was your favorite part, like in the show, Peyton? Like, like that you got to be a part of? Uh, <laughs> I, I I did enjoy the Liam scene. I I, oh, I I think I just really liked that entrance because you could tell people thought it was funny <laughs> because like specifically just Voldy coming out because it's just Liam but with a swim cap on. <laughs> so I think that's what made it so good because everybody kind of found that funny. Yeah. I think, it, I don't know, the audience, if we didn't have good audiences, the show would not be as good. Well, I heard Sunday that there's like not many people laughing. I Did think, they laugh at that when Liam came I mean, out? Sunday, they were good, but they weren't the greatest. Yeah. Sorry, mom. But. I think Friday was probably the best because there's a lot of young people there. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen, no. Sunday, I am not sorry to your mom. That that crowd was terrible. <laughs> and Friday's night, Friday night's audience was so good and they were so loud and they were very interactive. When uh, I think it was Caitlin, she was like, she was like, Jenga. <laughs> and Liam was like, that's stupid. Nobody wants Jenga. Speaking of Liam's part, I thought those were so funny that every night he came out with a different, like, like, oh, God, go closer. Yeah, sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, I thought it was funny when he, like, came out with a different um, monologue every time. Mm-hmm. And, like, he would just yell at people. Like, when he yelled at that little boy, he was like, shut up. <laughs> I think it was Calvin. I'm pretty sure it was Calvin that he yelled at. That's so funny. Um, there... My favorite one he ever did, though, was on Parents Night because he came out and he was talking about the fire. That yeah. was so funny. Who's doing donuts in the parking lot? Donuts <laughs> are for eating. <laughs> I don't know. All, Liam, just both of his characters. Because like, his characters are both polar opposites of each other. You have Cedric, and then who's like the puff guy, and he's nice to everybody. And then it's Voldy. Yeah. That is funny. Um... I, the characters in this show were so, they were all just so fun, and honestly, okay, so my, my personal favorite was Jay Finch, but I think Mm -hmm. if I was not playing Harry, Harry would have been my favorite, because he's just so off the wall, and he comes out at the most obscure times. When I was watching Puffs for the first time, the girl playing Harry looked exactly like you, (laughs) and I was like, I wonder if Chris is going to get Harry, because like. (laughs) I figured if it wasn't going to be you, it was probably going to be Evan. I feel like Evan would also be a good. 
Well, I think that I think that he wanted to keep it gender bent. I didn't know it was gender bent when we came in. I thought that was honestly a typo. Uh, he put the the monologue like in the wrong spot for auditions. But I didn't even put Harry on my audition sheet. I was like, Harry can't pull him off. He he's I can't do that. That was mm-hmm. just too much. <laughs> it went good though. Yeah, I had a lot of fun when when I actually got to know the character, and I really I have a personal like I am very connected to this character now. He is <laughs> mine. <laughs> This show went a lot better than I thought it would be because, like, the week before, we were like, we still haven't even ran the show. And then, like, when we did run the show, it's like, you guys have to be around 110 ish minutes. (laughs) But then somehow we just we uh, pulled it off, like, as soon as, besides the fire drill, (laughs) parents' night went by really good for time's sake. As soon as it mattered, I feel like we got our butts into gear. But um, I think before that, it was a hot mess. Like, there were, there was a lot of, like not even I don't know there was just a lot of people who didn't know their lines all the way and it was it was it was really fun to get to see like a week before the show there there were people scrambling for lines Mm -hmm. and (laughs) half of us didn't have our costumes and just to see what the show turned into which was so so good Mm -hmm. oh my gosh it was so funny I have a question for both of you. What was the least favorite like scene you had to do in um, Puffs? Like what was the scene you're like I guess I gotta go back out and do this again? Um, honestly, I don't think I really had any that I, I dreaded, but the one moment in the show that I absolutely hated, um, it was, I was not on stage for it. <laughs> um, but so there was like the sports scene where I had to like walk across <laughs> the stage and pretend I catch a ball. Right. And then, um, immediately after that, so I go off stage, right. But then literally the beginning of the next scene, I have to be on stage left. And so I had to throw the broom and the ball that I had and sprint and be over there in like three seconds. And I hated it. <laughs> I think my least favorite was probably like the battle was fun, but it was just stressful because like, I know, especially Leah, there would be times where like she would go out, do her spell and I would just hear her start booking it backstage. Cause like for the death buddies, you have to be everywhere. So like, yeah, mine wasn't too bad. Like I got the occasional break, but like, but um sorry a wet one's just exploded on me (laughs) but uh basically like like it was really fun but it was just stressful and it was really hectic running back and forth for different scenes and different spells um okay 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 so this is not like the same type of thing you might not even have one of these because you didn't you weren't there for the rehearsal process but what was your favorite like there were, there were times that actors like cracked in the middle of the show. And what was your favorite like one of one of those where it wasn't like scripted, but it happened in the middle of the show? Um, I think like when an actor cracked. Yeah. I, I remember Liam was talking to me about uh, Perry, his dad. Uh, they said some line and Perry made like a comment about it. Was, it. it was when Emily goes, but will you ween? Yeah. Because <laughs> she did not say when. Is that why she went ween? It was supposed to be ween because it was like in a, in a British accent. But I know that broke Liam on stage. <laughs> and then me and Liam would improv the hug <laughs> every night. Well, not every night, but like there would be times because like when the fog came out, we were like, he was like, it's very foggy. So, like, I don't know, just small, like, lines through and there, there and there. <laughs> My favorite one, uh, personally, also involves Liam, but it's when, um, so, Leah Alder comes out as um, Myrtle, <laughs> and on Sunday night, she was just, like, provoking the audience because they weren't laughing, mm-hmm. and she came out as Myrtle, and she, like, does her little scream mm-hmm. thing, and, <laughs> and she has to look at Liam, and she looked at Liam, and she, her mouth just oh, was, like, gaping. yeah, she did the... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, like, her mouth was gaping, and her eyes were, like, mm-hmm. super open, and Liam just started dying, yeah. and he couldn't stop. I completely so forgot funny. about that. She... She told me during a uh, uh, intermission, she was like, I, I made Liam broke, break character and I feel bad, <laughs> but it was so worth it. Oh, it was so funny. I couldn't, I didn't get to like actually see it because I was behind a door um, because I had to come out with Ron Mop. And he I was in a push. shark head. 
<laughs> he was in his personalized sweater, and I'm supposed to make him look sad. Also, when the script tells you to make a mop look, look sad, literally, how are you supposed to do that? Just, like, tilt it forward. <laughs> That's what I did. But I don't think anybody got that from me putting the mop, the mop down. You should have got, like, a water bottle and made, like, it look like he was crying. <laughs> Like just like make it fall. <laughs> just just make the mop wet. Yeah. So it's stripping, it looks like it's crying. I like um I, I wish for Ron mop we didn't like give him clothes. I wish it was just a mop. Like I don't know. I think it would I think it's so much funnier where it's just like it's not a colored mop or and it doesn't have clothes. Uh, it well, was just a mop. I thought Ron only had clothes during that one scene. He does only have clothes during that one scene, but uh, I think he's also like uh referencing that up until literally he Became a redhead on yeah. hair night. Yeah. Oh. We okay. had a, like, white broom every night. <laughs> yeah. So, in the newspaper, if you want to go look at Ferris Tribune, um, there's a there's a picture of me, and I'm in, like, my red blazer and stuff. I also didn't have my tie until there at night. Um, but the whole... You can see me just looking up, talking to a white mop. And if you weren't there, you would have no idea. Because in the Ferris Tribune, they just kept referencing it as a broom. <laughs> oh. And Chris I, is Dawson is talking to a broom. That's what they said. No, they didn't. <laughs> yeah, they did. I never read it. I I never read their captions. I just I look at the I just look at the pictures. Me too. Cause like they take really good pic. Like those fiddler pictures were amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the I'm only sad I wasn't in more fiddler pictures, but it's fine. The only fiddler picture I was in was in the background of Finley and Gracie, and it's me and Leah and getting ready to go out for the wedding dance, and we're like, "That's a load of bull crap." <laughs> so, I guess, do you guys prefer the straight? Pl- well, I guess there's probably going to be an obvious answer, but straight plays or musicals? Musicals. Yeah. Um, personally. I don't know. I love them both so much, but I like musicals more just because there's so many more people and you also get you get more experiences. Like you get to act, you get to dance, you get to sing. Well, I think I think Puffs was different. Like I think for the straight plays, I think they typically do have like a big cast for those. Mm-hmm. It's just Puffs was not like a person heavy cast. Well, I don't know because I was like looking in the hallway with all the pictures and a lot of them had pretty small casts. Like Twelfth Night didn't have that large of a cast. Um, and I think not that many people auditioned for Puffs to begin with. I think we only cut like 10 people. No, it was 19. They cut 19 people. I remember because you were like, 19 people. And you're like, oh, but I made it. Never mind. Oh, I remember Kenny. He created a group (laughs) chat like before the cast list came out. And he, and we were like, that's weird. Why did he create a cast? Why did he create a group chat with 18 people in it? Because like. He was like, hey, guys, I'm working on the cast list. And it didn't click with me at that time. Like, we knew who was going to be on the cast list because he was just like, because there was an original group chat. And I think it was just like our theater group chat. But then he created a group chat for Puffs. And he was like, hey, guys, I'll have the cast list out soon. And it just didn't click with me. Because I was was thinking about it because it was like, why aren't certain people in this? And then once the cast list came out, I was like, Oh, I, cause I didn't realize Kenny was cutting people. Yeah. So he sent me the cast list and I was, I was on my living room couch and I'm, I'm looking at it and I'm like, well, um, he had sent the long, super long message. He was like, Hey, I know we have never done this with a show before. We've never cut anybody. If you try out, you're in like that type of thing. But I did have to cut people for this show. And I was like, Oh my God, am I cut? And I was like, it wouldn't have been to the cast list mm-hmm. if I wasn't in the show. But it was really interesting to see the, see the cast list. Honestly, looking at it, though, like, Sam got the lead, which, honestly, go Sam. He absolutely mm-hmm. killed it. Um, but <laughs> I looked at Kazlis, and that was not even what I cared about at all. I was like, oh, cool. Finley, Sam, Gracie got the leads. Not that surprised. And mm-hmm. then move on. I'm like, oh, wow, I'm Harry Potter. <laughs> I, I'm i still a little upset. Well, no, I'm not upset. I'm, I'm, I'm happy because although me, Leah, and Yudi were put on a waiting list, because at the bottom of the <laughs> cast list, it just said, to be determined. Oh, I thought, I was like, when I read that for the first time, I was like, is that going to mean they're either going to get cut or they're going to be in the show? I was like, that's really scary that Leah's going to be cut. But like, I, I kind of felt bad because like we were just taking people's roles because it's like, yeah, you're going to lose them, but we're going to take them, which like, I don't think in the long term, anybody cared. And I don't think anybody even, I don't even know who was originally what role, honestly. Yeah. 
There was like a lot. There were a lot of people had so many ro- roles. Like um, Evan it, had like a bunch. Evan did have a lot, and and Ava, Ava. Um, I'm gonna see if I can find the original cast list. Oh yeah, I remember we did talk about that. Evan had like eight people he was gonna do. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I I and he that. ended up with. Well, he started as Uncle Dave. He was Jay Finch, and then I think he only had three at the end. He, he was, was also he was a fat idiot. friar. Oh, e- oh. Eli was a very tall man, and I found that extremely <laughs> funny. <laughs> Well, Seven I mean, was three, right? He was the announcer, the Uncle Dave, and then uh, Jay Finch. Right? And he was Scorpius at the end. He was um, Malfoy's son oh, at the very end of the oh, show. Oh, yeah. yeah. But he didn't have any lines. Is that role? Yeah, he was just on stage. You know how they had, like, the little line? He was like, no, time traveling. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um, but one of my other favorite parts, specifically about Evan, <laughs> is um, as he's the announcer, and it's uh, the first task, I think, and he's like, he's like, cut, cut the music, cut the music. There's a... There's a dead dog on the field. Are we, are we still... There's a dead dog on the field. That, are we still live? <laughs> Evan did such a good job of that because that was so funny. I always crack up laughing every time. He's like, guys, stop, stop. There's a literal dead dog on the field. Are we, are we still going? <laughs> and then, oh my gosh, I think it might have been parent night. But um, So he had done that line and then he goes up and he goes, guys, there is a dragon right there. <laughs> and, and everybody ran and Liam runs off the other way. <laughs> I love I love one of the nights. Uh, Finley like, didn't run off stage and Yudi just went up to... Uh, Finley just went rah, and they just booked it. <laughs> um, but so Liam runs off the uh, uh, the wrong side of the stage, and I'm mm-hmm. waiting for him. And I needed the golden egg that he was carrying, and he just he just awkwardly walks like like walk like jog jogish kind of jogs yeah. I guess, across the stage mm-hmm. just the other way, and it was so funny to give me this egg. It was uh, there was just so many small things of this show that just pulled it together so nicely, and were yeah. just hilarious. Like. It was worrying at first. Oh, okay. I found I found the original cast list. So Eli was also a very tall man. Seamus, Mr. Nick, Sal, second headmaster, and real Mr. Moody. Which, I don't know how people were going to do that many costume changes. Yeah, it was rough. Like, like, uh, like I was saying earlier, Ava had... I think she only had... She had like three characters, I think, throughout the yeah, whole show. Yeah, she had... Uh, Jenny, Helga, and Frenchie. Yeah, and then she got rid of Frenchie and and Leanne, obviously. And so she had to run off. Um, and she she came on as Jenny, and this was during like dates for the ball. And then she would have to run off, and I would see her just quick change in the wing, and mm-hmm. then come directly back on and talk to Sam again. And I just don't think I could do that more than once. I didn't have to do it at all, but like I don't think I could do that more than what they did. Well, now. I guess we're all waiting for Mamma Mia next year. Well, actually, I feel like the next thing on most of our agendas is the Tonys. Yeah, yeah, because that's a big thing coming up. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for that. Do you uh, do you're singing a song from? Uh, I don't know. I might be doing like, I might be doing stars from Lemos. I might also be doing uh, uh. So in love from Kiss Me, Kate. But I haven't decided it, but I'm doing... uh, I won't say I'm in love from Hercules with Lily, Finley, Evan, Liam, Sam. So, yeah. I'm going to do Never Enough from that, from from the greatest show. Never (laughs) Enough! Yeah, I think you should sing it by him, for sure. I'm going to be a... I'm going to be a soprano next year in Swing Choir. Yeah, yeah. You can catch him in a, in a red dress <laughs> dancing uh. with Gretchen in the ducks. Because <laughs> we all know Gretchen is Gaston. Sorry, Finley. Yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry Finley. <laughs> Gretchen is the one that beats me up. <laughs> sorry to let you know. <laughs> literally, uh, literally assaults you. I was going to say verbally assaults you, but Finley will literally assault you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really what my summer is going to be, getting punched by uh, Finley. Oh my gosh, Miss Hanchu <laughs> um, chased oh me down in the hallway the other day. And she was like, hey, do you want to help me with costumes next year? <laughs> I think she's just trying to find every, anybody. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, actually, I went ahead and I quit this show um, for various reasons. And um, then she she was like, oh, you should sleep on it. And this is like a week after the cast list came out. I was like, I've slept on it seven <laughs> nights. And she was like, she was like, no, you should, you should do it. Um, just think about it. And then today in the hallway, she chases me down again. And she's like, wow, I didn't know you had such a big part in Puffs. I think you just did so good. 
did you get yourself back in Beauty and the Beast? And I was like, oh my God. I was like, nope, I still didn't do that. And she was like, she was like, well, you better because I think you're gonna get a you're gonna get a part. You you better you better just join again, and I'm sure they'll give you a part. Just <laughs> can they just like, do that? Like, just like text parts? them like two weeks later. Hey, I changed my mind. Uh, well, can I come back? Um, they haven't done the table read yet, so they haven't recast parts of people who have quit already. Uh, mm-hmm. They they need to recast narrator, silly, silly girl. girl, and a crony. Yeah. So so really, uh, she just told me that she was like, "You're gonna get a silly girl," basically, but without specifically telling you. Yeah. Literally. Unless I want to look like a man and be a crony. <laughs> I mean, that's what we, that's what we tried to do for to life, but like, <laughs> not not. I don't think we ever like pursued that, because really, didn't everybody just like tuck their hair? Yeah, like I remember Layla. I think that she just had a hat and she put all of her hat in her hair. <laughs> all I, her hat all, in her hair. All of her hair in her hat. <laughs> I I kind of miss Fiddler, but like I think between the two shows, Adam's Family and Fiddler, I miss Adam's Family more. Which it I don't know. When I found out we were doing Adam's Family, I was like, "How is Logan Sport High School gonna do Adam's Family?" Because I was like. First of all, that's a show that's never been done in Logan Sport, and it's like it's fairly new. I think it came out in like two thousand. I don't know, two thousand something, two thousand somewhere. But like, I don't know. That show just turned out really well. Um, I absolutely love Adam's Family. I'll always adore it. It was my first show that I did here, and um, though I didn't have like any like lines or any like we solo the tango parts. the tango was my favorite part and it will always be my favorite part fiddler would always be my favorite because that was my first um musical i was ever in so fiddler's my favorite i don't dancing for uh oh it came out in 2009 yeah dancing for adam's family was so good like oh. all of the dances in that show were amazing. Oh my gosh, they all were. I loved them, and I I really like that I got to be a part of all of them. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I thought it was fun, but my f- my favorite is definitely the tango. I was only a part of th- three because full disclosure is kind of a dance because yeah. it has the like. <laughs> Mister, can you making that up on the spot like yeah. <laughs> a couple days before the show? That was so funny. <laughs> but I'm just happy. I don't have to dance for Beauty and the Beast, which I don't. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna talk to Finley. Like I'm gonna be like, hey, since we're Lafoon and Gaston, we might want to still go, because like, so they know where we're gonna be. Because I feel like that's the issues that came into Fiddler and yeah. Joseph. They didn't know where like the leads were gonna be that weren't dancing, because like the narrators, they were like, oh, do we have them up here? Do they have them back there dancing? And then it started conflicting. Then the narrator, then like the directors argued. Yeah. But yeah, that's why I'm like kind of <laughs> thinking like, should we be there? Are you like, uh, sorry, this is a question for, are you like um, the same height as Finley or like roughly? Finley is a little bit taller than me, <laughs> but he, but he's getting lifts. He's getting boots at increase his height a little bit that's so funny because i just imagine i when i look at this show i just no offense to you i think you're gonna absolutely kill it i just always imagined eli as i imagined eli or sam (laughs) yeah because they're they're shorter than finley Mm -hmm. and i don't know they're just like they have that goofball yeah like characteristic i think that I think that you're gonna do wonderful. You're just not. You're just not the height that yeah. I imagined you. Like were. I feel like like that was my thing going into auditions because I was like, yeah, Lefou would. When I auditioned, I didn't really want to be Lefou. Yeah. I was like, he's because he was my third. Because I was like, I'm too tall for Lefou. But then at callbacks, I thought about it. I was like, I really want to be Lefou. But like, my main things were Cogsworth, Lefou, or. Maurice and yeah, Evan got Maurice, Maurice and Liam got Cogsworth, which I think they're both going to kill it. They always do. Yeah. <laughs> like even if it's not the role that they were expecting, I think they're going to kill it as they always do. Oh my gosh. I, um, I auditions for reading the beast. It was so funny because, um, they, I think they were calling back Lumiere's and, um, and they started calling back people, and Evan just walks back. And they were like, they were like, Evan, are you gonna audition for Lumiere? And he was like, I don't know. 
<laughs> they're like, I'm just auditioning for whatever I can. <laughs> and they're like, all right, Evan, come on. <laughs> and they went and got his paper. <laughs> it's so funny for no reason. Well, our time is coming to an end, which honestly, it didn't feel like 30 minutes. Yeah, With that- Justin, it felt like an eternity. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Justin. It's, it's a joke. Mostly. No, it's not. <laughs> but, yeah, so this has been the Barry cast episode two. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're doing for a name. Cause like, the name's rough, baby. The yeah. Name's rough. Well, it's not gonna be the Magberry Pie Cast because <laughs> that had its own controversies. <laughs> yes, it had so many because it shouldn't have been that in the first place. Yeah, the name was something. Okay, I heard it when Mr. Jones said it. I was like, "What is that?" Real? When when I heard Mr. Jones say it, I was like, oh. "How did you hear that? Our class doesn't have a speaker." I I, I barely heard it because I heard him start talking about a podcast and he was like, "Did Mr. Piercy get him to mention the podcast?" <laughs> I was in the dean's office, so their speakers are nice and loud in there. <laughs> but this is our temporary name. <laughs> I, I don't know if it'll change for the third time. But, <laughs> anyways, yeah, this has been episode two. Thanks for coming in. Yep. <laughs> Thanks yep. for having me. <laughs> uh, make sure to read our articles. We only have today, which hopefully this episode will be released Wednesday and next week. And yeah. So thank you for listening to the Magpie Podcast. <laughs> Very cast. <laughs>